respected vice chancellor sir the honorable consul general of the united states madam helen lafave the honorable deputy high commissioner government of bangladesh mr zoke ahad distinguished guests colleagues scholars ladies and gentlemen i feel extremely elated to announce from this rostrum that under the able leadership guidance and encouragement of our honorable vice chancellor professor ratan lal hanglu the center for bengali diaspora has at last been able to see the light of the day and it does so by organizing this seminar of springs of bengal in distant lands quest of the disanchored now the central theme of the seminar i will present in a very few words and then the subsequent deliberations will follow now as samuel huntington put it very aptly that the seminal question uh, so far as uh, identity politics is concerned is who are we in fact this is the name of one of his seminal works also so far as the bengali diaspora is concerned i would say that not only this expression who are we applies to them but also in a slightly modified form that is where are we where do we stand here or there what is our location the point is that the bengali diaspora or for that matter any diasporic community the central point is that of location and then relocation now bengali diaspora is huge in number interspersed throughout the world in europe in america africa asia even in the middle east actually the point to be debated and deliberated is there is always a kind of an inner crisis i would call it something more than an identity crisis perhaps it would be more opposite to call it an existential crisis because they are often confronted with a kind of a dichotomy between their homeland and their native land now when does a person go abroad either it's a case of forced migration or it's a case of somebody going abroad in search of better prospects and opportunities now when somebody goes abroad is he or she fully satisfied with the ambience that he or she encounters now there is always a question of the bengali diaspora searching for its indigenous roots and they often feel that their indigenous culture is being subordinated to or being sort of crucified at the altar of an alien culture so the challenge is the assertion of authentic bengali identity as against a perceived threat of alien cultural hegemony now there are some important sidelights here uh, the, uh, as I, as has been stated earlier in the last session this is the first center for bengali diaspora to the best of my knowledge now one objective of this center is to rediscover the hidden and obscure history of the bengali diaspora very little it is little is known about the bengali slaves in south africa from 17th to the 19th century it is very difficult to reconstruct their history at the grassroots level the world which they created for themselves it is very difficult to do that much of that history remains obfuscated till date we have to retrieve it we have to recreate it now when i remember on 21st january 2000 the noted scholar madam will certainly remember him leonard gordon i heard him speak at netaji bhavan and the title of his lecture was multinational creation of nations now he was asked why the bengalis are not joining the electoral system of the united states in large numbers he said that they are coming but possibly the picture is not so bright 
There's only one instance in recent times, that of Raj Mukherjee, who is the assemblyman of New Jersey State Legislature. Now, he was previously the deputy mayor of the Jersey City, and he's also at present simultaneously the adjunct professor in political science in New Jersey City University. And he was also commissioner and chairman of Jersey City Housing Authority. He has radically renovated the government housing system, and he has earned a huge federal grant from the Obama administration. Now, he had to encounter racist comments on the Facebook and also the social media, and yet he received overwhelming support from the diversified ethnic citizens, particularly the Indian Americans. But even now, we find that there are only two Indian governors and three elected officers in Maryland and New Jersey. So actually, the history it is the one challenge is to rediscover the history of the Bengali diaspora. And secondly, we have to investigate why larger number of Bengalis are not joining the electoral process. I end by uh, citing something uh, which I specifically prepared for our madam. I don't know how far she will appreciate this. A gentleman named Shashanko Mukherjee uh, wrote that we here abroad uh, have a peculiar experience. When we look around us, we find there are hills here, fields here, meadows here, but shepherds don't pay, play with the flute as we find in India. And he's saying that maybe materially we have become prosperous, but spiritually we have not yet measured up to the uh, desired level. So, you see, Shelley inspires all of us. Who can forget his famous lines from the cloud? I bring fresh showers from the thirsting flowers, from the seas and the streams. I bear light shade for the leaves when laid in their noonday dreams. Who can forget this? Now this fascinates us, enthralls us, enchants us, but it doesn't penetrate into our psyche. Who then does it? Who else can do it except Tagore? I translated two of his, uh, just two stanzas of one of his famous poems in verse, and I render it now for our madam, and then I will end with the original Bengali version. Long ago, I had lived with the assurance in the midst of spring bowers. Today, you have come in the form of bounteous showers. In tumultuous rhythm, you dance. With thunderous roar, you advance. Invoke the song you want to ring in my life with all its hidden powers. Today, in the midst of torrential showers, you have come today, encompassing the universe with disheveled hair scattered in the heaven. And wild flowers adorn your feet, which by some secret impulse are driven. Your dark shadows have covered me with their veil. They have cast on me the tearful trance with its magical spell. With the grandeur of greenery, the seashore of my life, my heart today is replete. You have come in the form of intense showers with wild flowers scattered round your feet. This is the nostalgia which haunts the Bengalis when monsoon comes. Bohudin holo, kon phal gune chinu ami tabo bharo shai, ele tumi ghano bharo shai, aji uttal tumulo chande, aj nabo ghano bipulo mandre, amar parane je gaan bajabe, she gaan tumar karo shai, aji jalo bhara bharo shai, आज आशिया चो भुवनो भरिया गोगों ने छड़ाए लो चूल चारों ने जड़ाए बुनो फूल ढेके छे आमारे तुमार छाया ए शौजालो शौगोनो बिशालो माया ए बैकुल करे चो आकुल करे चो शैमो शमारो ए रिदायो शागोरो उपकूल चारों ने जड़ाए बुनो फूल थैंक यू